My mother, shortly after, had a massive stroke, and she lost her speech and, and her movement, and her request haunted me, and I knew that she needed to end up in this very special place. I didn't believe this place existed. All the rooms, the outside, the gazebo out there, walking around, oh, you know, that... It, it was, you had everything in one room. It was fantastic. I love this place. It was home to me. I think a lot of people like that feel that way. They feel as if you're at home. And that is the secret. That's the big secret. When you could feel that you're at home, you don't need anything more than that. When I come to visit you at the Korean Teen Care Center, it's always the best place to come see her. She always has a smile on her face. Mm -hmm. There's um, always a staff member talking to her she, or sitting with a friend and they're holding hands. And it is truly the most caring place and she just enjoys herself so much. Right, Baba? Yeah. Yeah. When you do this job, you form bonds with people. You develop a relationship with the person who is entrusted in your care. I'm with my residents every day. This is much more time than the time I spend with my family members back home, the time that I spend with my grandmother. Doing this job, you realize how we are all connected. You may be even surprised how deeply you can feel for others. You feel their pain, you feel their joy. They become family to you. They are my family here in Canada. It's Mother's Day and the family was coming to, to spend time with my mother and her caregiver, Vivian, was, had her day off that day. But she came in especially to fix my mother's hair and dress her up so that she looked pretty for Mother's Day. And I will never forget it that. It was wonderful knowing there was a place that accepted people like me because it, was, it wasn't a mental case as far as they were concerned. It was just a natural thing that was happening to one person. And that made it very interesting. And I think after being here for five years, you've seen the different people that are here. Many of them aren't here because of, of age, as much as it was the, an accident that happened in their lifestyle. And we're lucky we have a place to go. That's the, that's the number one thing. We have a place to go when that hits us. That the most important thing is, you don't have to die by yourself. And that, that's number one. That is number one for all of us, to be with our, our own people, go at our own time. When you do this job, you know from the very beginning you're taking care of someone in the final years of their lives. Seniors come to live in the care center and be, become residents 
when they are frail and have many, many complex health issues. From the beginning, you know you cannot change the outcome of a disease such as Alzheimer's or other dementias. But what you know is that you can change the journey. And this was my mother's home for three and a half years and when she got ill and I had to take her to the hospital and we knew after several days that um, the end was near, I did not want her to spend her final days in the hospital. I wanted her to be in her home and I knew that if I brought her here she would get wonderful care and she would get loving care and she would pass away with dignity and that's exactly what happened. Working with seniors is a humbling and very enriching experience at the same time. It teaches you to be humble because you see that life is fragile and aging happens to everyone. Today is them, tomorrow is you. It teaches you to appreciate life more and cherish every single moment of it. The relationship you form here with the people who are in the final years of their lives is truly profound. And sometimes it is not about words. It is your hand holding theirs and their hand holding yours. And this means so much. This job keeps you on track with what matters in life and what doesn't. As Pani Tonya told me once, it doesn't take much to know what matters in life. You just have to take the time and look inside of you and it's there. Well, my mother lost her ability to talk through the stroke. Being here at the Ukrainian Canadian Care Center, we have discovered that she can say three words and they are the most important three words in the world and pretty well says what happens and what the feelings are in this home and they are I, I love you, you. <laughs> Але квітку не